Tomo News presents Grocery Shopping. Photo of shopping carts full of fancy food bought with food stamps sparks viral outrage. A soldier's Facebook post comparing the meager contents of his own buggy with those of a person using food stamps has sparked controversy. Patrick Gibson snapped the photo at a grocery store in Fayetteville, North Carolina last year. Gibson, who skips breakfast and lunch so his family can eat, was lining up to pay for fruit and diapers. In front of him was a person with not one, but two shopping carts bulging with what Gibson said was steak and some other very nice choices of food. When the person took out their wallet to pay for the purchase, Gibson saw them move a big fold of cash to get to their electronic benefits card. Worse, after paying for his groceries, Gibson saw the person load their items into the back of a brand new Hyundai Genesis. After the incident, Gibson posted a comparison of his groceries with theirs. The post has been shared more than 140,000 times. Many Facebook users were livid. Mark Bostick said knowing people sell their food stamps makes me sick. The level of hatred have for that type of person is undying, wrote Greg Bowers. But others, like Ricky Jackson, that Gibson shouldn't be so quick to judge not knowing the other person's story. Liz Lemon said posting photos of other people's groceries on Facebook was creepy. What do you think? Was this person a benefit scrounger or is Gibson a creeper? Let us know in the comments. Land shark is real. Cops in Florida think something fishy is going on after a five foot long shark showed up dead at Walmart. The jaws dropping discovery was made last Friday afternoon at this Walmart store in the city of St. Augustine on Florida's northeast coast. It came just hours after another dead shark was found in the driveway of a nearby home. Geez, talk about a fish out of water. The Walmart manager made a snappy call to the cops when she found the shark basking in a shopping cart in the store's parking lot. Initial investigations revealed the shark was put there by a guy who earlier that day had found it sitting on top of his RV. The RV driver told cops he heard a loud bang that morning and then saw the shark on top of the vehicle when he went out to check out the noise. So as you do, he stuck the shark in a shopping cart and carried on with his business. Maybe he had bigger fish to fry. Okay, okay, I'll stop. The jokes are wearing thin now, and I've probably jumped the shark. Police reviewed surveillance footage of the parking lot, but are still none the wiser about how the shark got there. Perhaps he just turned up out of the blue, uninvited? This reminds us of the time a dead shark was found on a New York subway train a few years back. In August 2013, passengers on the N train were baffled when they ended up sharing a compartment with a female dogfish shark. Turns out the corpse of the shark had washed up on Coney Island earlier that day, where it was found by some kids. But when the kids weren't looking, a group of pranksters took the shark and ran off with it. They dropped it by a roller coaster, where it was found by some guy from Brooklyn. According to the New York Post, the 31-year-old man thought the shark was such a fine specimen that he decided to take it home and study it. However, at some point on the journey back, he changed his mind. Instead, the man said he left the shark on the subway train for other passengers to enjoy. So at least that's one shark mystery solved. As for this guy, who knows? St. Augustine cops were said to be diving into their investigations. Amazon opens a grocery store that could be a job killer. Amazon is opening a grocery store in downtown Seattle early next year where customers can make their purchases without waiting in checkout lines. To make a purchase at the Amazon Go grocery store, one would need an Amazon account and a smartphone with the Amazon Go app. Customers are admitted into the store after opening their Amazon Go app and scanning it on the turnstiles. The app generates a QR code that logs the customer into the store's network and connects to the customer's Amazon account. This prevents shoplifting as the customer's identity is recognized and stored. The entire store is equipped with computer vision, sensor fusion, and deep learning technology. It can automatically detect when products are taken from the shelves and record them in virtual shopping carts. The products would be removed from the customer's virtual cart if they put them back on the shelves. When leaving the store, customers have to pass through turnstiles equipped with sensors that signal the app to calculate the cost of their purchases. Payments are then charged to the customer's Amazon account. According to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, about 3.4 million Americans work as cashiers. 
A consumer behavior research firm points out that Amazon's technology might wipe out 75% of typical grocery store staff. Boy, was it a good day to be on welfare in Louisiana. Walmart stores in Mansfield and Spring Hill experienced a computer glitch in their Electronic Benefits Transfer or EBT system on Saturday. This erased spending limits, which meant people could buy as much food as they wanted, and did they ever. Word spread and it was a frenzy. Folks cleared the shelves, hauling away as many as eight carts piled high and wide. But then the system got fixed and the unfettered fun came to an abrupt end. Looks like Walmart's gonna have to foot the bill on this one too. Poor Walmart. Jerk who parks car in front of Costco entrance gets punked. In Taiwan, an unidentified driver parked directly in front of the entrance of a local Costco store like a douche. The driver of this car got boxed in as Costco employees continued to return shopping carts. No one has come forward to take credit, but netizens are loving it. Too bad no one got a shot of the driver's face when they saw their car. Walmart develops self-driving shopping carts. Walmart received a patent last week for its self-driving shopping cart system. The shopping carts will be equipped with detachable motors with video cameras and sensors. Customers can request a cart using their smartphone. Supermarket employees usually have to round up abandoned carts. With the new system, the carts will be able to return to the docking station automatically. The carts can also be used to restock products that are low in stock. It is not yet known when or where the new system will be applied in Walmart supermarkets. Walmart robots are here to help. Walmart is enlisting automated help to improve out-of-stock issues and mislabeled items. Walmart robots are equipped with a camera and lights that can scan the aisles to check stocks and identify mislabeled or wrongly priced items. The robot passes the data to human employees, who then restock the shelves and fix any errors. The retail giant stresses that the machines will not replace staffers and are merely there to help them. The robots are 50% more productive than human employees at shelf scanning and are capable of doing it faster and more accurately. Walmart has been trialing robots in California, Pennsylvania, and Arkansas for the past three years and will be expanding to 50 more locations in January of 2018. So if you live in El Paso, Fort Worth, or Jacksonville, it seems the robots are coming. Gross. Photos of raw meat being handled under iffy conditions at a California supermarket have gone viral, sparking disgust and outrage among netizens. Loretta Seto was about to shop at 99 Ranch Market in San Jose when she spotted two guys delivering slabs of raw, unwrapped pork in shopping carts. The carts came from a Costco across the street, which means countless of customers have probably been contaminated with nasty meat germs and don't even know it. Speaking of nasty meat germs, the market claims they've dumped the pork in the photos but deny involvement and say they filed a complaint with the vendor. That vendor is Jim's Farm Meat Company in Winton, who in turn claims the meat left their facility wrapped and in a combo bin. They're not sure if the delivery method was a request from 99 Ranch, but are looking into the matter and have since fired the two delivery men. An investigation is also being carried out by the Santa Clara Department of Environmental Health, who caught wind of the issue from Seto's post. The future of Whole Foods after the Amazon takeover. Amazon's acquisition of Whole Foods will be a game changer in the grocery market, as the company may revolutionize almost every aspect of the operation. Other grocery stores may have no choice but to keep up with Amazon's technology innovation. Whole Foods currently has three seafood processing plants, a coffee roasting plant, 11 regional distribution centers, three regional commissary kitchens, and four bakehouses, all of which supply products to the stores. Industry experts say these are the places where Amazon could focus. Amazon may consider building a huge warehouse with the size up to 1 million square feet to serve Whole Foods and its own grocery initiatives, such as Amazon Fresh and Prime Pantry. The warehouses may be automated by utilizing robots in order to reduce labor costs. Robots may also be used to navigate aisles to check inventory in stores. In the long run, Amazon may consider eliminating cashiers and use auto checkouts instead. Amazon may use Whole Foods locations as distribution centers for its own grocery delivery service. 
Streamlining distribution and reducing labor costs could bring down the prices at Whole Foods, which would then pose a threat to traditional grocery stores. This may force other stores to also automate their procedures, which may eventually lead to layoffs. Amazon operates Amazon Go, a fully automated concept grocery store in Seattle. It can automatically detect when products are taken from the shelves and record selections in virtual shopping carts. Customers can make purchases without the aid of a cashier. Amazon said it has no plans to introduce that technology to Whole Foods stores.